going to be showing you how I pencil in my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to be going through this step by step. So I'm going to show you how I get the shape of my eyebrows and what tricks I use, the products I use, and also how I pencil them in. So I really, really hope you enjoy this. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, a little trick I use to map out the shape of my eyebrows. Using a pencil or a brush, angle this from the bottom of the nose upwards toward the brow. This is where your brow should naturally begin. So I place a marker using my eyebrow pencil so I know not to go further than this line. Now for step two of this trick. Again, angle the brush from the bottom of the nose diagonally towards the brow. The brush should be going through the centre of the eye. This is where your brow should naturally arch and will also be the highest point of your brow. Again, just place another marker here so that you know not to go further than this point. Now for the final step in this process, taking the brush again and angling the diagonally from the bottom of the nose through to the end of your eye. This is where the tail of your brow should end. So again, just place another marker here. Using this trick will help you when it comes to drawing in the shape of your brows. Now taking my MAC eyebrow pencil in the colour brunette, which is a really nice light brown. I'm going to first start to pencil in a line following the natural curve of my brow. Now using that same pencil, I'm going to be filling in the rest of my brows, creating a natural hair-like strokes. The key is to be very light-handed with this so the overall effect is not too harsh. When penciling in the top of my brow, I like to angle this downwards following the direction of which my hair grows. This is to create a more natural effect. Again using those hair like strokes I like to continue this from the arch and connect to the bottom of the tail. The main focus at this stage is to get the shape of the brow in so don't worry too much if it begins to look a bit messy as we can go in at the end and tidy this up with concealer. brow shouldn't be as full at the beginning so with a very light hand I'm creating these hair like strokes upwards following the natural direction in which my hair grows. This will create a kind of a gradient effect which will appear more natural. Now taking my Too Faced eyebrow brush and using the comb end I'm going to be brushing out the pencil that I just applied. This will help blend everything together so it's not too harsh. Now taking my Maybelline Brow Satin Pencil in the colour Medium Brown, which is a slightly darker colour than the MAC pencil, I'm going to be repeating this process. The reason why I use two brow pencils is because I find it easier to tidy up using the first lighter shade if I mess up whilst I'm creating the shape. Then I'm going to be blending this out again. Now taking my angled brush and the Too Faced Eyebrow Gel in Universal Brunette, which is the darkest shade I use in my routine, I'm going to be brushing this through my brows over the top of my pencil, again using the same hair-like stroke technique I used before. I'm focusing the majority of this product on the outer half of my brow. This is so we can keep that gradient effect. Now taking my Real Techniques Detailer Brush and the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW20, I'm going to be tidying up my brows and creating the final shape. I just want to make sure that all that concealer is blended out. You can tidy up the top of your brows if you need to, but I tend not to because I think this creates more of a natural finish. So your brows should look something like this. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Gel, I'm going to be combing this through my brows to set them in place. Using my Real Technique Shading Brush, then taking my Brow Kit Shape and Define by Barry M and using the lightest shade in the palette, I'm then going to be blending this out underneath my brow to highlight. 
What I like to do now is then take that Maybelline eyebrow pencil again and just run that through the sparser areas of my brow just to darken them up. I also make the tail of my brow slightly longer just so the eyebrow looks more curved. Now as you can tell there's quite a big difference between the two eyebrows. I just really think this frames the face and completes the whole makeup look. So guys, as you can tell, this is the finished look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this and you learned something new. I post videos every single week on my channel, so please like and subscribe so you can stay tuned, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.